Welcome to the One Choice for Yours store tutorial. Add an image to your left navigation bar. So you have a graphic and you want to add it to your Yahoo store, but perhaps you don't know how to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our One Choice for Web 2.0 graphics kit and we're going to open up one of our guarantee signs and we're going to add it to our Yahoo store and we're going to actually add it to the left navigation of our Yahoo store. And we're going to open it up in here in case we need to make any changes. Let's go into our Yahoo store editor, click on files, click on upload, browse, and let's locate the file that we want to upload into our Yahoo store. And there it is. Now we're going to give this a different name, guarantee.png. And what you want to do is give it the file extension that goes with the graphic that you want to upload. Next, what we're going to do is highlight the address that you see here. Then right click and select copy. So now what we want to do is go back into our store and on the far right side, you'll see the last page you visited for us. It's index or we can click on contents and then click on index. Since we want to add this image to our left hand navigation bar, we need to go into the variables. Click on variables and let's scroll down to page properties area. And here you'll see HTML above left nav and HTML below left nav. Here's the small business batch that was in our left navigation bar and we want our graphic to go right above it. So we're going to put in our cursor. We're going to hit the enter button twice to give us a little bit of room. And we're going to put in the text that is needed for the HTML tag to show an image. And I'm going to go ahead and put this up close for you so that way you can see it. Now where it says image source, notice that we are pasting the URL that we received from our files area. We're not putting in anything else, no HTTP, anything else like that. We're just going to paste the URL that was given to us in the files area. Click update and here we can see our graphic in the left hand navigation bar. As you can see, it's just a little bit too big though, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and also show you how to make changes to that graphic to make it just a little bit smaller and a little bit, you know, nicer for our left navigation bar. So let's go ahead and go into Photoshop Elements and we're going to click on the image in the top, resize and scale. Now here, basically all you have to do is take your mouse and just kind of drag it down into the center area of the image to resize that image. Then we go over to the left hand side and select our crop tool. And basically cut out the extra space. You don't want to get too close so that you cut out any of the edges of your image, but you do want to go ahead and make it nice and tight. But as you can see, we've got a little bit more room on the right hand side than the left. And if we try to center our image, it's just not going to look right. So let's go ahead and zoom in, pull this graphic out. And now we can go back and crop this image and have a little bit more information about this image. We can really tell exactly where the lines end and where, you know, the graphic like begins and ends so we can get really up close on both sides and make sure that we're not actually cutting into the graphic, that we make sure that we have all of the graphic, but that way it's really close on each side so that way it's nice and centered. When we're all done, we're going to click on File, Save As, and let's give this another name so this way we can create a second image and keep our original image. You always want to keep that original image. All right, now that we've saved it, let's go back into the files area of our Yahoo store 
And let's go ahead and copy the name that we used for the image. This saves us a lot of time. Go ahead and click Upload, Browse, grab the new image that we created. Where it says file name, go ahead and paste in the file name we used and click send. And the reason why we're just pasting the file name we already used is because when we click on image and you might have to click refresh, you see that the image is already there. You don't have to make any other changes. You just upload the new smaller file and that's it. It's already done. It's in there and it looks great. The only thing that we really would like to do now is center that image because it really looks a little off being that far over to the left. Very simple to do because we want to do that. We're going to click on the variables and we're going to scroll back down to the variable containing our HTML code. And so this way you can see what it looks like a little bit better. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And right above it, we're going to go ahead and make the HTML tag for division align center. And then we're going to close that tag behind our image. And now we're going to go ahead and update our variables page and take a look at our image in the Yahoo store. Perfect. Now the image is nice and centered centered along with the e-commerce by Yahoo badge, and it looks fantastic.